Shut up, you guys. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And action. Quiet on the set. Hey, everybody. This is Matt. We're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching another very exciting reveal. 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 Remember when we started doing that? I stole that from another another YouTube guy. I'm not going to tell you who it is, but... Did yeah. he say reveal? Or no. Did he say he another did word? Uh, maybe, no, he said some other he said thing. other thing. Yeah. yeah. So I got my, uh, my Taffy's guitar, Home for Wayward Guitar shirt on because... Uh, one of Gary's buddies is here this week, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's clean. Look at that. I, I had almost the same thing when I found this and went, oh, good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. Cause... Plus, it was cool today. It's like 71 degrees, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I even decided to wear pants today. I was thinking about it. Yeah, it's a good way to go, mostly because the other pants that I've been wearing all week were all dirty, and I'm like, I'm not wearing them anymore. So, so we have a very super cool, exciting reveal for everybody today. And it is uh, all of the participants of the Build a Classic Set Neck Workshop are going to show you what they made. And they're going to drink beer. And they're going to tell you a little bit about them and the experiences they had here because it's really fun. And, and I want everyone to know how just how fun it is. Chris, to your uh, left is what the guys started out with. Can you reach? Okay. <laughs> So it's important to remember that everybody started out. This is as sophisticated of a piece of, of, of a, I don't want to, I hesitate to say kit, but this is as good as it got when yeah. they got here. They had five different pieces of this. Just in chunks of lumber. And uh, yeah. yeah, wood types. And so what you're about to see started out on Monday like this mm -hmm. and through sheer determination and imposing their will and Chris and I kicking and screaming and biting and gnashing of teeth and yeah, setting stuff on fire. They turned into really awesome guitars that are ready to paint. And at least one of them will be joining us for the, um, uh, the paint your own guitar class in March. And if a couple of the other guys don't come too, I'm going to feel like a failure. I can't hold my guitar. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll make a Bo Diddley guitar. Okay. But before we get too much further into the weeds on um, um, on Build the Classic Set Neck, we reveal we have some viewer mail. We said that we would open some viewer we mail. Said that we said that we got would, some, and we got and some. And we got some. So let's just see what our good buddy Ryan yeah, from he, Seattle sent us. He said, uh, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> it's a shit bomb. <laughs> uh. Pointed at your buddy, not at your body. All right. This one is a size NL. Well, let's show show what that was. Man, there's a bunch of stuff. Here. Oh jeez. What does it say? Red angle for president. <laughs> <laughs> drink Coors Light. Yes, yes, yes. Let's drink Coors Light. Now. That is awesome. <laughs> Here's to you, Brad. And to you, Ryan. That's very cool. <laughs> Coors Light, though. Oh, eh? geez, it's the best, though. Oh, it is the best. This I one, so much. This one is obviously for Mrs. Tuck. There's a, this is a big box of stuff. Yeah, well, it's a it little is. box with lots of stuff in it. This one is for Mrs. Toast because this is one I of her love favorite, that movie. Her favorite movies of all time. I hate Danny Mason Keener, though. We don't know what that means. He's DMK, beats my high score every time. So Night it's a Night Comet. of the Comet, which uh, the Mac 10 submachine gun was. Practically designed for housewives. You know, that's true. All right, here's another one. That's awesome. Thank you. Because Jesus and Leo Fender said so. <laughs> Man, these are, these are classics. <laughs> I was Matt, talking I'm pretty to, flarity. I was talking to Joy this morning about uh, quotes for the can for the, um, the Texas mm -hmm. Toast Red. Okay. And maybe that should be the quote that we use. Because God and Leo Fender said so. Yep. I'm not sure. Yep. Okay, here's here's another one. Here's another one. I don't know what this is. I'm the nice one. <laughs> That's awesome. It looks great. You are the nice one. You guys know it's is it drink? <laughs> he's, got, he's got this Coors Light logo on everything. Yeah. So so Ryan yeah. writes. I'm so jealous of the brilliance of Steve at Maximum Guitar Works that I've decided to give 
Flyboy, a run for his money, and I've created even more useful tool for guitar builders. The buckle wrap, the buckle rash relic machine. Oh man! Oh, we talked about this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is, uh, let's see, uh, machine not included, but the attachments work with any common five-inch orbital <laughs> sander. So go get one, Chris, for demonstration. That's awesome. uh, the Texas toast, the Texas attachment for ZZ Top SRV and the giant hole in Willie Nelson's acoustic guitar. The armadillo and star on this buckle. Oh, there's oh, a whole gosh. bunch of them. All sorts of different designs. There <laughs> yes. you go. So this oh, is, man. hold on. Okay, okay, so this is the Texas Toast one. Uh -huh. So the idea is you put this on your, your orbital sander, <laughs> and you, you turn it on, and you grind the crap out of well, your and guitar. Well, and show, show the people the back for the Start orbital it. sander. <laughs> yeah, she's got a coarse one. That's you awesome. Know, <laughs> see, I think I recognize this paper as paper that he stole during the class. That's perfect. <laughs> so, all right, so this is the Queen Elizabeth. Uh, attachments for fans of British rock. You can have your guitar relic with the Queen's face, but not the current elderly Queen's face. You, that could ruin your guitar, and you could have something nice. Instead, we choose the young pretty Queen as she was crowned in 1937. This immediately makes your relic guitar vintage. Nice. I'm going to... That is so Let fucking that one. funny. The queen, the queen one? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to wear this. And for a refreshing going. taste of Rocky Mountains, we give you the official... Buckle rash attachment for Colorado, powered by Coors. Maybe I can use this on my next prostitute bill. That it would be awesome. And some cool Texas Toast personalization T-shirts for each of you. You can fight over the Brad Angle for President T-shirt. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ryan from Gaylord Guitars. Um, very, very excellent. This is a nice belt buckle. I nice, wear this one. Nice work. Yeah. Excellent work. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Thank you. Viewer mail is getting better and better <laughs> every time. I didn't know that you'd have to attach this to an orbital. No, I get this, just, this is yeah. just like this is just a belt yes. buckle ready to go. You don't want to, yeah. and you don't want to pull it off. You want well, that think, to be the buckle. The idea is that you don't have to put the guitar on to to ruin it. I think here's the oh, thing: I mean, if you, relic it, <laughs> if you wear that one, that mm -hmm. effectively makes you Ryan's buckle bunny. Oh, that's oh. true. Now, I know what you're thinking. No, it doesn't. Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> so, anyway. You didn't win this buckle. No, I'm just saying. I don't think. You don't know. You don't, you don't know, know what happens in his life. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, before, let's let's not relic it yet, but let's show off the guitar that we built this. Uh, thank you, Ryan. That's very that cool. That was really good. Um, let's let's show off the, uh, the guitar that Chris and I built in conjunction with the class. Um, we always build one uh, along with everybody else because we want to make something that is – that it well we want to make something too but we want we don't want to be like hey give me your guitar and i'll do it and you won't get to do it but we well in, a, in an attempt to show you how to do something mm -hmm. so this is the guitar that we built um show the back because it's got it says what it is and it is what it says this is our uh the kaiser blade i don't know if you guys can see that in the uh, in the video there but this is ultimately a uh the the sort of a parlor guitar right well, it sort of looks like a parlor guitar. It's a Les Paul no cut. Yeah, no cutaway uh, flat top. Yeah, it's basically like, yeah. like an electric acoustic. Yeah, but it's funny because you you look at the this, which is you know two halves of a, of a Les Paul, mm -hmm. and it's a parlor guitar. It's a yeah yeah. And yeah. It's like oh well, it's not that you know Les Paul wasn't anything no. revolutionary. No. It was a standard shape with a cutaway. Yeah, with a with a, and a thing nice top. Yeah. And we went with P90s on this one because the last one that we built, we put uh, Seth Lover humbuckers in it, and everyone goes, wow, that's cool. The only thing that would make it cooler would be P90s. Yep. So we're going to see what you guys think of the Kaiser yep. Blade with two P90s. Money, now. That's right. Put them where they – put them both together. Yep. So, um, well, so uh, I think everybody is, is kind of ready to see what everybody made. Yep, I think so, too. So, so Clint has been going first all week. Let's force him to go last this time. Ah! <laughs> So, okay, so who do you want? Who wants to come up first? John wants to go. John first. wants to come up first. Okay. John, as some of you guys will may no doubt know, is the main Mac Daddy of Kansas City. Missouri. That's yeah, Missouri. Don't ever Are you living in Missouri or Missouri? Missouri. Okay, so not Missouri. Don't ever confuse 
Kansas City, Missouri, with Kansas City, I, Kansas. No, I won't do that. Anyone, yeah. please. Yeah, I did so, that once, and, and they said nobody lives in Kansas City, Kansas. Yeah. True. You but you do live in Kansas City. I do. Yeah. I do. So, John, tell us a little bit about what you made and uh, what, how, how, what your experience was. Because you, you had a great – you made a really cool guitar. I don't know if you had a great time or not. I was yelling at you the whole time. The entire time. <laughs> um, <laughs> I got the official – Oh, Chris, you, Chris was wondering when you were going to see that. Yeah. Yeah. When did you see it? Just now. Yes. <laughs> I don't have my neck attached. That was perfect. Um, so I made a Melody Maker style okay. guitar uh, with binding and a quilted maple top. And, you know, I had a great time. I, and I was telling Matt before um, I signed up for the class, it was the reveal video on YouTube that I saw. Oh, cool. That inspired me. And I was like, I want to do that. Yeah. And I'm so glad because it. They really take it, they demystify everything about building a guitar. Many of us have always wanted to do it, and it's not as scary as it seems with, with their expertise, of course, and some pretty uh, impressive machinery. We, we've done it one other time, and so we know a little bit about yeah, yeah. what. So I had a great time and would encourage anyone who's thinking about doing it to come down. It's a good time. These guys are great guys, um, very eager to share their knowledge and. Yeah, Matt did yell me all week. It was good yell. It was like a drill sergeant, you know, just wanting me to get it right. So, so tell great. everyone a little bit about what what we made here because it's very ultra cool. It's a melody maker style with um, a quilted maple top, mahogany, and I did a little cutaway on the back. Yeah, you got the little comfort carve there yeah, because uh -huh. we decided it's easier to do that than to lose the weight. Tell right. you, buddy. So, uh, and then just kind of a modified. The neck is a little bit. It looks like a little wonky. It is a little wonky. You might need to glue it in. Yeah, I have to do that. Um, but just a kind of modified V head. And you've got some designs for your next guitar that you're going to make. And you're a member of like the Woodworkers Guild in, in Kansas City. And, and you're ready to go right. back and, and bring bring some of the stuff you learned there and, and do it again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How cool is that? I would love to come down for the uh, the paint class. Probably. But there's no sanding in that. Oh, there's oh, oh there's there sanding in it. Sanding. Oh, there's sanding in it. I took a lot of notes during the week <laughs> and very detailed. And all I have for day five is sand, sand, sand and we sand That's and we it. sand right it. over the dam. It was a blast. Encouraging them to come down. Good time. So, um, so you have uh, let's see. So you have mahogany back mm -hmm. with a maple top and um, uh, yeah, peekaboo yeah. binding on the side. That's right. And and, and you have a rosewood fretboard. You went with dots. Pretty, yeah. Really nice fretboard. Yeah, and peekaboo binding on that too. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So what? Is, what's the plan? You're gonna glue that back together. So you gotta fly home, and it's like, yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah. yeah. I bought a lot of bubble wrap so okay. it doesn't get bounced around and check in. Oh, can I have a band aid because I just because I thought you would appreciate the the idea of the band aid. Yeah, I like that. We made a couple of boobies along the way. The center yeah. line and skinny lines are very important. We're, yeah, we, we tried to beat that into everybody, <laughs> especially me. So, uh, so what was what was one of your favorite things that we did, John? You know, really doing the. I mean, to put you on the spot. Well, the yeah. fretboard that always scared me. Okay, and and it's easy. And right? It's easy. It is easy. Yeah. So that was really one of my favorite parts. Cool. And now I have a guitar that I can put together and paint and. And you've got an actual you've got an actual melody maker at, I do. at home. Yeah, yeah, yep. sixty two, which. Uh, more narrow, no binding, okay. and then all mahogany. So now I have my very own Monaco. Cool. Melody maker. And you know, you want to, is there anyone that you want to say hey, hey, hey to uh, back home? Everyone. At home. Come on, coming, you can be more specific I'm, than that. I'm going home, the first place I always stop from the airport is um, Brian's Barbecue. Oh, that's 18th and That Brooklyn. sounds so, good. Yeah. 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 That's your, that's your, really, that's your yeah. go to thing is you go there every time from the BQ airport. Joint? No that's awesome. Going, yeah. That's very cool. All right, cool. Thank you. Well, John, thanks for thanks for spending a week with us, and everyone back at uh, in Kansas City, thanks for letting us have John for a week. He's a super cool guy, and we really had a lot of fun hanging out with him. Thanks, man. and thank you, John. Um, uh, we hope to see you again soon. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, who's up? Who's up? Well, while while they're all, right, all right, here comes Rick. While they're scrambling, some guy with a handle. Tafty's guitars really thinks your shirt's awesome. Right? I yeah, I mean it's not as cool as uh, <laughs> it's not as cool as Brad Engel for president, but uh yeah, that's pretty good though. So this is my buddy Rick, and he is comes all the way from New New is it New Hampshire? No, oh. it's New Hampshire. 
No, I'm not from the hills. I thought that. Well, okay, well, how no, am I getting, how did I get it all dorked up? Well, after I don't know. Aren't you from Rhode from Island? Boston. Well, Boston. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rhode Island. That's what it is. Yeah. I knew it started with That's R. where Paulie D is from. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this is Rick and Rick. Yeah. Uh, Rick, you and I both know Gary Taft yes. from Tafty's Home for Wayward Guitars and, and the, the maker of this this excellent shirt that I have on too. You've got one too, right? I have one at home. Okay, you didn't wear yours. I didn't today. bring it, yeah. yeah. So, uh, Rick, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you built and why you did it. Well, my name's Rick. Uh, I, once again, come from the Boston area. Uh, one of my favorite guitars is the Ibanez Iceman. And I came here with a couple of templates and was hoping I can uh, pull this off. Well, I think you did. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's totally yeah. cool. So, I pretty much bound the board. Um, so yeah, you got you got uh, uh, now you you and John both came with tops. You got yes. tops from uh, Kimball Hardwoods. Yeah, yeah, those guys are cool. Yeah. And you guys actually both came with templates from Mike Poppin, right? Yes, we did. Another cool guy. Yeah, so can't and recommend. We don't those know guys. each other. We you know just ended up that way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right. Sorry, I'm late. No. Um. So one one thing I learned from uh, from Matt was the fact that. When I send something from Boston, when I bring something up from Boston, yeah, it kind of has to. It was remarkable it. too how quickly <laughs> yeah. it started. So you and I started on day one, a little different from everybody else because we wanted to get your uh, wood to be flat and glued together properly. So we kind of went a uh, slightly different track than everybody else did, but it worked out we great. Worked out perfect. Yeah. yeah. I forgot about that until just yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, what else can I tell you? Well, so you got to, so this is actually kind of a kind of a commemorative piece, right? Yeah, um, I have a buddy who um, was just as big on Iceman as I was, and he was tragically killed in a motorcycle accident. That's a bummer. We and don't mean to bring you guys yeah. down, but yeah. But I was trying to come up with a name for this, you know, a funny name, and I just thought Iceman Bixman. That was his last name. So that's perfect. Yeah. I think that's totally cool. Yeah. So, so what do you got here? So you got uh, uh, maple top, mahogany maple top. back, yep. mahogany neck, yep. rosewood fretboard. Yep. You went with the block, block inlays, inlays, which is sweet. Yep. Um, and white binding, which I think white binding looks really classic. Yes. So um, okay, so yeah, so what? What? And you had up one of those potman for anyone watching, and you're you see the Mike's templates about um, the binding channel. Yes, you brought one of them. I brought a binding, and, and and so you brought the the body bind. Or I'm sorry, the body template and the binding channel yes. template. So, I didn't even see how that worked. You and Chris kind of worked on a lot of what what did that was that cool? Was that worth four dollars? I, I think it worked out really good. Uh, one lesson I came from it was we need to put a little more heat on it when we're trying to bind, and then when, and then when we're we trying to bend it because when it comes out of the jig, it's like boy, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. So. Yeah, I realized that when we got to the final piece. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's it's a piece that goes from here yeah, to, to this little to right point, here. and then from here to there. Okay. And then we just we did that one there. Finding the neck was a snap. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> straight lines, no problem. It was a breeze. <laughs> so, um, uh, so are you gonna are you gonna make more guitars when you get home? Ah, actually, that was cheating because I know you're gonna do something with this once you get home. Tell everybody what that is. With this one here. Yeah. Um. I hope to have it stained. I got to put my bridge in there, um, and my tailpiece. I have some original Ibanez vintage that I might put in there, uh, or I might change something. No, but this is going to be part of a thing that you use for a different deal when you get home. Yeah, the fretwork and not another. Oh yeah, deal. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're correct. I, I will. I will try to lead you anywhere <laughs> I want you to go. Yeah. Um, I am doing a repair class, same one that Gary took, and. I wanted you to kind of use this as part of my final, so I'm going to be doing more of the front work, doing the, you know, carving the nut, um, and doing the rest. Yeah, getting like the together. setup and yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah cool. So. Awesome. And you're going to go blue, or did you decide to make a change on the top? No, I think I'm going to go with blue. Okay. Because um, it's cold as ice. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, probably blue and, and probably just natural on the back. I love that, like a, like a color on the top gold or black or or you know red or whatever and then natural like just the wood on the on the back i think looks really neat and especially if it's like a transparent that's what you're going to do right yes. like trans transparent blue with a natural i think that's going to look really tough 
Yeah. And so, so what was, what was one of your favorite things that we got to do while you were here? Um, I liked the pin A little Everybody nervous. The pin. A little nervous trying to, you know, get it going at first. But it's but a breeze, right? It makes things easier. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, all, all of you guys did so good and, and really, really kicked ass. There was a couple nights where we went, worked into, into the night. And and you guys really kept it, you kept charging forward, and that was yeah. No, nobody was like, oh, this sucks. I can't do it anymore. Everybody was everybody was really gung ho and, and making moves the whole way. Well, I was, I was. I mean, Chris sucks, wasn't, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, well, so is there anyone that you want to say hey to? You know, Gary's. Hey, watching. Gary yeah. said hey. Hey, Gary. Hey, Gary. I'll say hi to my kids, Matt and Allison, and uh, that's about it. So everybody in the. Rhode Island area. Um, thanks for letting us have Rick for the week. He's a cool guy, and we sure did have a good time. Um, and and we made a cool, cool guitar too. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with us, man. Thank it you. was great to have you Thank here. You. Awesome and awesome, awesome guitar. Will you and Gary come back out maybe in uh, for the Great American Guitar Building Contest? I do know Gary's coming. Maybe you could come. Is with Gary him. coming? Maybe. Yeah, that's what he says. Yeah. All right. Well, that would be super, super awesome. And you already know your way around. You already know all the best, uh, you know, the best Arby's and, and the best, uh, the best, the best breakfast burrito places. Yeah, in in the in like a two block radius. They have the good. They have that turkey bacon ranch thing. It's uh -huh. fucking delicious. It's 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 and the Jamoka shake is to the Jamoka die. shake it's is divine. where it's at. Yeah. yeah. Any of you, uh, any of you Jamokes get one of those Jamoka shakes this week? They're, they're good. I didn't get one. Hey, Jamoke, you get a Jamoka shake? <laughs> no? All right. Well, hey, All thanks right. again, Rick. Thank it you. was cool, cool having you out here. So let's let we got we got two more people to come up. Let's see who's who's next. Are you up, up Raul? Whatever you are. Come Hoagie. on, man. So all the way from Texas is my buddy Raul, who spent uh, uh, a week with us asking us all the right questions and making all the right moves. Raul, how in the hell are you? I'm feeling bold, proud, manly, and in dire need of psychiatric help. <laughs> <laughs> but you came here like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no different than when you, when you got here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a little more sleepy now. So you have been adamant that you can't believe this was a chunk of lumber, and now it's this, yeah? Five days ago, this was a pretty much rectangular piece of wood. Yeah, it's, it's remarkable. Was, yeah, it's, it's uh, I can't believe it. I mean, from everything from... I mean, just putting the dots, you know, uh, the learning how to do fret work it was just amazing. Um, so, so what, what, what do you got here? So, let everyone know who you are and what you did and why you did. I, my name is Raúl Isaguirre. I'm from uh, originally from Maryland. I live in South Texas now. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Um, Thanks for letting us have Raúl. He's cool. Thank you. That rhymes. I didn't even. Yeah, I could have been. I could have been goofing around with that all week. But yeah. Uh, well, there's always next time. Um. Let's see. What was your quick next question? Okay, so so tell everybody about what you built. I built the Les Paul here. Uh, I uh, came with a bunch of different bodies and asking for advice. I've been bugging this crap out of someone for quite some time uh, about how to work on some. Oh, of that's stuff. right. Like not just this week, but like Whoa, for right. many months. 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 And I'm like, ah, yeah. yeah. The hell well, with that guy. I'm glad that you know what though. I'm glad that you came out to a class to kind of to well to this workshop is is really a, a pretty good place to jump in. You know, yeah, I saw his uh, his email and advertisement for the class, and I thought, whoa! And I tried to get my friend to come with us, but uh, we won't get it. We won't get into that. Yeah. So okay, so we built a Les Paul. It's uh, it's everybody basically mahogany back, mahogany neck, um, maple top, rosewood fretboard. You went with the classic trap uh, trapezoid mm -hmm. inlays, and everybody bound everything, which is cool. Yeah. Um, you don't have to bind it, but you get to, and, and I think it's it's a really neat thing to do. It was a powerful learning experience. I did, yeah, I wasn't. I actually thought that the uh, that the maple here would have been quite nice to leave as a natural binding, but and it would have been. But it would yeah. have been, but but I wanted the experience of learning how to do this. So we got to use the heat gun to make the make this this horn shape and everything, and that was interesting. Mm -hmm. I only got yelled at like once for that uh, by so. Chris. <laughs> He's the nice one. Yeah, Chris is the nice one. <laughs> So, um, so Raul, uh, what what do you think was your your favorite bit that we did? Uh, I think I think we'll go with the fretting. Okay, I think I think that was uh, I was really looking forward to to knowing how to do that. Um, I know I'm not very good at it. No, actually, everybody did a great job because. 
fretting is one of those things that's a finesse operation and you can really crush those things in there and, and everybody did a great job with fretting. The, the pin routers need I say more. Every, I think everybody was, was, was the, yeah. Was Everyone got to fondle lovey. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, before, before I go though, I do. No, no, we got, we got a lot more questions for well, you. Well, well, I want to say something about my buddy John over here. Uh huh. Um, and uh, our friend Chris over here, who custom made a, uh, a plate for his oh, control. That's right. You forgot yeah. about that. You want to show yours? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, yeah. Maybe we'll show show oh, some yeah. of Chris's so, handiwork. So you know. Chris get Chris yeah uh, uh, got on his computer and made him uh, a uh, plastic piece here that fits because nothing they had here. Yeah, we had to make a custom control cabinet. Yeah, nothing yeah. would uh, would fit it. So he and I, John and I were you know, talking about what to do, and I said. Why don't you just ask Chris to design something on the computers? Oh, it's Con me. Chris and the dude. He's like, I know, I said, It's always it's a good exactly idea to con Chris yeah. into doing yeah. something. So, so. And I've taught Matt several Spanish words this week. That's right. That's right. Matthew Pendejo now knows a handful of Spanish words. Now he's my No, it's, you're saying it wrong. It's Matthew Pinocha. No. Oh. <laughs> I didn't learn that one. I didn't think you would. I yeah. Would've, I would have said that. So he actually, you did give me, you did give me, uh, you did give me a new nickname. I was just going with Maestro, trying to be kind. But but I said we need to we need to he put needed, this a little bit. This is a little edgier. Uh, Maestro Pedro. Uh, I was de la de, de la <laughs> the, the the instructor of farting, right? Yeah, de la del de, de pelo. Say de, okay, yeah, Maestro del pelo. So yeah, so if you, anyone wants to send me an email, you can address it to yeah. to yeah. to Maestro del pelo. Yeah, I, I did. I wanted to be kind, just go with my Astro, but he insisted. So, oh, yeah, trying to be a, respectful. I'm a little edgier than that. Okay. So, um, uh, so now you will be joining us in March, if all goes possibly, nice. or 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 maybe the next one for paint the guitar you made at Build a Classic Set Neck. And the the cool thing about that is, while paint's drying, we're going to build more guitar stuff, yeah. which is that's part of that that part of that. I don't know. If, I don't know. Is, is it a class or a workshop, Chris? I might be more of a workshop. I might be more of a workshop. I might be yeah. more of a romper room. We don't know. We don't know. Oh, I see Raul. But and wouldn't Rick it be cool though to have to, to paint your own? Wouldn't it be Clint. cool to paint your own guitar that you built here? And Raul, you're definitely coming back for that. You're already paid. We just yeah, don't know what day you're coming back. So. We're gonna finish this one. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna put finish on this and make it extra cool. And you've got a couple other projects that you want to build next for, or who knows what you want to build. Because sure. the, the problem with a paint class is Paint has to dry, and what do you do while paint dries? You can sit Drink there and watch light. it. Quiet you. <laughs> you can sit there and watch it, and that's no fun. So let's build more guitars. So yeah, that's the plan. We could get drunk, but yeah, come on. <laughs> so is there anyone that you want to say hey to, Rel, back home? Uh, let's see, Mike. Hi, Mike. Uh, let's see, folks at work. Hey, folks at work. Hi, Amy, Eli, Eli uh, Narda. Uh, so it's Mike, not Ismail. No, it's no, Mike. No, Mike? Okay. Mike. Yeah. Although I've called him some other adjectives, <laughs> which we won't get into. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, Raul, thanks for hanging out with us. Guys in, uh, in Texas, thanks for letting us have Raul. It was really awesome to have him here. And, um, uh, I, 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 yeah, we can't wait for you to come back. Man. Yeah. And by the way, Texas Toast is not in Texas. No, it's <laughs> not. Everyone <laughs> thinks it is. I didn't know that. And now you do. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You were like, oh, I'm going to drive for 45 minutes. Yeah. No, you're right uh -huh. there. Yeah, you know, well, if you're in Beaumont and I'm in Amarillo, it's going to be, yeah, you might as well keep on driving. So Clint is here, and he is going to come up next. Um, Clint was here with us on Sunday and and got tried to get us drunk every night this week. And, and definitely saying. had a pretty good handle on I woke up hungover every morning thanks to Clint. So, Clint, thanks for Hanging out with us and keeping us uh, keeping us liquored up. I am the piece. <laughs> so, Clint, tell us who you are and what you made. My name is Clint Walters. I'm from Mojave Valley, Arizona, and uh, made this Les Paul special. I, I believe. Uh, yeah. Yes. You could call it whatever you want. Yeah. 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 So again, um, started out with a big chunk of wood and and glued it all together and made something uh, something awesome. Um, you did. Uh, you and Raul and, and Chris and I all used one piece maple tops, which were really cool. Absolutely. Um, figuring, little figuring. In well, it's got a little, and yeah. I think when we get some finish on there, it's going to pop out. You know what I mean? Yeah. I reckon it will. So uh, then you got rosewood fretboard and uh, a trapeze <laughs> inlay, and you were absolutely hard charging to like, yeah, can we, can we make it now? Can we do it now? Let's do it. And so that is, 
that kind of enthusiasm is infectious, which is very, very cool. So, um, in fact, it was also very cool. I could, I got to con you into, uh, hey, Clint, uh, you feel like working the pin router some more on uh, my guitar so I don't have to do it? And, uh, yeah, yeah, you were, you were, you were ready to go, raring to go. You think maybe uh, you think maybe Kathy will let you get a pin router, or have you already you've already sourced one? I think she's already <laughs> she's already on board. Yeah. I can I can see lots of projects that having a pin it's router gonna at home it is going to be it will happen eventually. You can make a new medicine cabinet. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you could go crazy. Yeah. So so your wife came. Uh, she did, and and she is a trooper. She was like going out and having adventures all over town and uh, while, while you and i were getting covered with sawdust all week absolutely so that was very cool kathy thank you for letting us have clint all week he's super cool so um so what was what was one of your favorite bits yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> Pin round. come on i mean had an absolute good time Her. uh learned uh learned a lot learned a lot are you okay now you've built i guess i should have said that you built a bunch of guitars before you got. Well, I, not a bunch, but I've cut out a bunch of lumber. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, so. you showed me like all oh, you bound a Telecaster well, bar that yeah, you made and, and you made the neck. And I and, learned yeah. that all through your videos. Um, really? Yes, absolutely. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah that, Chris, you. I right on. Yeah, absolutely. That's cool. It's, uh, and it really, it, really works. That's how I learned the technique as far as uh, putting what we did here. And, Actually, Very good. So yeah. Well, I mean, really everybody good. made such such Absolutely. great great Beautiful guitars. Guitar. I can't wait to see what they look like when they're done. And I bet you everybody else watching is is thinking the same thing. Is there anyone you want to say hey to? Uh, uh, mom, and, mom and dad, uh, Jerry and Brenda Castle, and uh, my kids, uh, Devin and Addy and John, and uh, yeah, that's it. and the United States Marine Corps. All of the guys in the corps. Uh, Clint oh, wow. has a special spot for me because I, I I dig Marines and I think Marines are cool and and so it's always it's always cool to meet a Marine. I was a lot of people think I was a, in the I was not, um, but it's, I but I have I have a love for the Marine Corps and so thank you for thank you, thank you for being a Marine and thank you for coming for sure. to the class. It's very cool. Yes, ma'am. Oh, before I don't want you to wrap it up. Oh no, got, what you, okay. I'm, all, I'm all ears. What's up? Oh, it's not enough for plant. I just wanted to make sure you weren't like, all right, thanks, bye. bye oh, okay. oh okay. 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 But yeah, so um uh I forget where I was. Well anyway, uh so thank Marines, you, for you your love service. the Marines. Yeah, and, sure. and and um uh and and you know, a lot of Marines might go, Well, I don't know if I can press frets in, that's a finesse job, but you were able to do it and you're like very mighty. And you, yeah, you, you didn't, you didn't, and I, I, you didn't lose or break any of the stuff that we gave you to I'm work with all week. So all of that stuff from the Marine Corps, like you know, the, all the gags about Marines, that's like total BS. So yeah, he wasn't eating crayons all week. <laughs> you know, it was just yeah, but, absolutely. Yeah. But it was great to have Clint here and and Kathy too. Thank you, thank you so much thank for, you. for coming out. And thank so you, Chris, for everybody who let us have Clint for for the week, thank you so much, and we hope that you let us have him again. Because he's a cool, cool guy. Everybody who who came out this week was super, super cool. I I, I look forward every day to, to showing up. So, excellente. Well, Chris, you want to come back and we'll we'll yeah. We'll, I got a couple questions. All right, couple that of I'm going to rapid fire because they kind of go hand in hand. Okay. They're about class. Okay. So Spike's guitar garage. Hey, Spike. Can we build and don't? I got. I'm just going to do the next one afterwards because they're going to go hand in hand. Mm. Can we, can we build a 335 no F holes in any class? Mm -hmm. And then there is a question from Richard Edwards. Has anyone ever made a mistake so big that they couldn't finish? Okay. Um, no, no one has never made a mistake so big that they couldn't finish. Come hell or high water, Chris and I want to be sitting here at 5 o'clock showing off the neat stuff that everybody makes. And that's one of the first things that we talk about on Monday is we have, we have a 100% success rate. Don't jinx it. Don't mess that up. <laughs> don't bleed either. <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't bleed yeah. in my shop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, you know, mistakes get made. Mistakes get and made. We, we, we made it. mistakes. Yeah. They made mistakes. There's ways to fix them. There's ways around it. Everybody has something on their guitar that they will probably always remember. And I bet you if they, you look at it, it, you wouldn't see it. You won't see it. Yeah. That's exactly right. And are you yep. going to do any more of like build whatever thing? Hopefully you finish. Uh, no, we probably will not be doing the build whatever, do whatever you want for a week and hopefully you finish. We've changed that to paint your own guitar 
and while you're waiting for paint to dry, um, we'll make necks or bodies. Do other projects. Yeah. yeah. It's a little it's a little more focused than that that first one. In answer to Spike's question about the 335, um, no. We have all week to do this, but we only have a week. Correct. So building a carved top hollow body 335 is not in the cards and will not ever be in. The so house. this is a question for everybody in the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How hard, how beat were you at the end of every day? Exhausted. Exhausted. I, I, you want to you do more? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Today? Yeah. <laughs> or any day. Was there any time when you said, you know, I could really go, I for, could another, go for another four or five four hours, five of, hours this. of, of yeah. this kind of fun? That's what we were talking about. Yeah. We finished, ate dinner, and I would come to and yeah, to bed. Yeah, pass yeah, out yeah. time. Yeah. I went to yeah. bed. I showered, went to bed. Yeah. 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 There's just not enough time to do something like that. Yeah. There is, it's full days every day. Plus, Spike has a shop at his, his, his own workshop. He could just make one. Yeah. There you but go. Yeah. Are there any more questions? Uh, no, that's pretty much it. Okay. Well, um, tomorrow you and I will be over at uh, JJJ's house, mm -hmm. and we're going to be filming a video that will mm -hmm. come out. I don't know when, but hopefully, like sooner rather than later. Yeah. We've got the part two of the painting uh, sunburst uh, that is going to be the fun part, which is actually spray and paint, right? No one, no one the, likes the, prepping, man. The taping wasn't the fun part. I thought it was fun, but yeah, but I wasn't doing it. Um, so that video is coming out very soon. Um, you and I will be here on Sunday for a live stream. However, the following Sunday, there I'm just going to say, we'll be here on Sunday. And on Sunday, I'll tell you about the next thing. Yep. So, um, guys, if you're interested in coming out to build a classic set neck, build a classic bolt-on, which is the same class, only you make like a Fender-style guitar, uh, the woodwork portion. Or if you want to come out to any of the other classes we have, build a classic telly, build a classic Fender, wind pickups with Dylan McCurchy from Dylan Talks Tone. I, I don't even know what all there's so many so many workshop offerings that it's hard to keep track of them all you can go to the website and sign up right there and there's stuff coming up um january 2021 there's spots available and then the rest of the year uh, available too go to the website it's easy and fun go to the classes it's easy and fun look at the classes yeah it's easy pick a class yeah pick one out get online figure out how you're going to get here it's not hard going to stay yeah i'll send you a list of hotels yeah these guys did it you could do it you could do it too yeah they're all people you're a people you're a too people. Yeah. they're so all smart. people if you're so smart yeah. if you're yeah. so smart make your own reservations <laughs> so anyway guys thanks for watching another very cool reveal video thanks to everyone who came out and hung out with us for a week thanks come on come on come on so until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast. This is Chris at Texas Toast. <laughs> Reminding you that if you're so smart, attention. start your own YouTube channel. And life is short. You might as well have a cool guitar. And it'd be a lot cooler if you built it yourself. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks, kids. You done? Officially.